Hi, I'm Josh with Tactical Tech, and today I'm going to teach you how to turn in an old computer into basically a security system. Uh, basically, the concept here is we have a webcam hooked up to a computer that perhaps you're not using, maybe you are using, and of course, computers hooked up to the internet, and it utilizes Dropbox to save recorded footage onto a remote location so you can access it later. Reason you want to do that is in case you get an intruder, somebody break into your house wants to steal your webcam, wants to steal your computer, well, it's going to snap some shots of him uh, doing so, and uh, when he finally takes off with it, you'll have shots of him on your Dropbox server. Now, in order to carry out this task, you're going to need to download two things. First one's Dropbox, and the other one is iSpy. Both are completely free. iSpy is open source. Uh, I've already done that, so uh, we'll go ahead and open up iSpy. And the first thing we're going to do is add in our webcam. Now, iSpy provides a lot of different camera options. I'm just going to focus on the basics today. And this is a local camera, so I'll just choose local camera. It's going to be my Creative Webcam Live Ultra is in number three. And I'll just go to OK. Pops up with the edit. Uh, camera window, and this is where we can adjust the motion detection. Now, it took me a little bit of playing around with this at first to get the right sensitivity level, but for the most part, I'll just stick with the defaults on this one. There's a lot of different other options in here. Like I said, I'm not going to go into all of them. Feel free to explore on your own, but I'll just stick with the basics. You can also add in the microphone, so if you want to hear what your uh, would-be robbers is actually are actually saying while they're taking your stuff, go to New. Choose whatever uh, microphone you're actually using. In this case, I'll just use a built-in one in my laptop. Go to OK, and it should record over here exactly what I'm saying. Go to Finish, and now the second... Or, let me go to Finish there, too. The second part of what we're going to do here is uh, change the directory that everything's going to actually upload to. I go into Settings. I go to Storage. And what I want to do is change it over to my Dropbox directory. And if you don't know how Dropbox works, essentially it's a folder on your computer that synchronizes with the Dropbox server over on the distant end of the internet. And you can access that folder from your mobile device, from another computer, from whatever, pretty much. So I just created a custom folder for it called CCAM. And I'll go OK. Now the cool thing about iSpy is it not only records snapshots and thumbnails of it, so you can easily see all the pictures and stuff, but it also records about 15 seconds prior to motion being detected and 15 seconds after all straight video. So if we take a look at another thing I got going on here, take a look at Dropbox, I'm moving over to Ccam, video, and this is essentially stuff that was just created today. And I can see from my remote computer. And basically I'm typing away on the computer. Here's a couple of thumbnails of it. And more recent stuff. basically me talking before the microphone was enabled and now you're finally getting some more of the recent stuff now the cool thing about iSpot another cool thing we have is if you take a look at this window I got it on my phone almost instantly about iSpot is it not only records snapshots and thumbnails of it so you can easily see all the pictures and stuff but it also records about 15 seconds now keep in mind the actual upload process depends on your internet connection and it can take up to maybe 40 seconds or even longer depending on your internet connection and uh, the actual file size to upload to Dropbox so the more complicated you make it to you know between the door your computer 
and unplugging everything, detaching it from the network, and turning it off, the more time it will have to actually upload everything. Another thing to keep in mind is, uh, like, my cable connection is in a box outside on the side of the wall. So if you really wanted to be, you know, cat burglar or whatever, you could uh, snap the cable connection and basically I won't have internet in the house before they even enter the door. So make sure to padlock that internet connection outside as well. Inclusion I Spy is a great program. Totally free again. Uh, play around with it and have a nice day.